Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back with Claire. If you guys haven't seen the first singles video with Claire, check it out. I won't give any spoilers, but it was a really good one. But today we're gonna do a rematch. What I noticed from watching myself play uh, the first time we played against each other was I, I think I was a little heavy footed, wasn't moving that well. And then I had said in the intro that I wanted to hit the high loopy shots, but it actually became more of flat shots to Claire, which I think you really like more instead of the high ones out of your strike mm -hmm. zone. So I want to change um, the trajectory of my balls a bit and then also my footwork and just being a little more fast on the court. Mm -hmm. I think depending on how Winston executes that strategy. Depends. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to um, I'm going to try to keep him off off balance, keep him like feeling heavy footed, kind of like he can't get yeah. like a good groove going um, and just kind of keep him on his toes the yeah. whole time. But and you did a really good job of taking time away last time. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys commented on Claire's grip, mm -hmm. how she holds the racket kind of high up on the handle instead of lower. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, um, thanks for the comments, guys. That's something that I've noticed in the past. Um, and it's something that coaches have mentioned to me all throughout my junior career and, and even now. But um, yeah, I know that it's, it's something that I do and it can definitely lower my like power uh, output. But um, I feel like I do get like a, a pretty pretty I hit a pretty fast ball yeah. and holding it higher up on the grip gives me a little more control so probably a little more stable right yeah higher up yeah yeah it so. gives me yeah so I, I feel like it's a give and take but um, yeah. I've been this way for so many years at this point so. yeah guys remember if you like this kind of content make sure you subscribe it costs you nothing to subscribe and it really helps keep me motivated to keep cranking out these videos for you today's video is sponsored by athletic greens AG1 by athletic greens is a nutritional drink that has me really excited about simplifying my health routine. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and whole food source ingredients. AG1 is more than just a greens powder. It's your daily multivitamin, multimineral, pre and probiotic, immunity support, and more. And yes, it provides your daily greens blend too. So I spent a lot of time on the court playing these matches for these videos. So I'm really excited about the muscle recovery aspect of AG1. AG1 is packed with adaptogens and superfoods, including magnesium, which will help with muscle recovery off the court. So I spend a lot of time, again, playing under the sun. So I'm constantly worried about protecting my skin and hair from sun damage. So I like the fact that AG1 incorporates biotin and vitamin E to help skin and hair. Those of you that don't know, I actually have a peanut tree nut fruit allergy. So I'm happy that AG1 is nut free gluten-free, sugar-free, egg-free, and dairy-free. But to make AG1, all you need is eight to 12 ounces of water in a shaker bottle. And then you're gonna add one scoop of the AG1 powder. Shake it up. Hmm, surprisingly sweet for something so nutritious. I'd recommend the taste as well. Make sure you go to athleticgreens.com slash Winston Dude to get started with your first order. Athletic Greens is gonna be giving my community a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 and K2, as well as five travel size packets of AG1 with your first purchase. Make sure to check the links below and let's get back to the tennis.
So we had some technical difficulties in this set. Um, it's like the middle of the day and the GoPro keeps dying. It's died probably like three or four times. I've try tried uh, replacing the battery, letting it cool down, but it keeps dying. So we're just gonna end this, end the tie break. Yeah. Whatever score it is right now, it's done. We never finished the whole set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I was incredibly streaky today. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I just wasn't moving my feet well and I wasn't picking like high percentage shots. Yeah. You know, I was maybe going for a little too much and when it was on, it was on and when it was off, it was off. And I probably should have been smarter with my shot choices. I still feel like I felt the time pressure. Like I didn't have a lot of shots that I set up for, especially on my second serves, you would just take yeah. advantage of the second serves, run me around. I didn't have a chance to set up a lot of those. Still effective. I felt like you were getting, like your your balls like were heavier. I felt like this time they were a little tougher. When I had time. Yeah. Time's the big thing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, overall it was good. Overall, yeah, just a lot of technical difficulties. I felt like it was hard to focus too, because yeah. just trying to make sure the camera was on and even yeah. filming. But mm -hmm. Oh well, thanks well, for playing, Claire. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, thank you. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe. Yeah.